Welcome back. Uh, this episode will be building the centrifuge for the nuclear reactor. So last episode we built the nuclear boiler. And that is boiling away. Well, it's full. What's that? How do I switch this UI off? Uh, 500 liters uranium hexafluoride. Cool. So that now needs to go into the centrifuge. So I've been making steel. Hopefully I've got enough steel. But, uh, wait, wait, wait. How do I get my UI back up? I need the centrifuge. Now I've got a horrible feeling I might need some nether quartz. And there it is. So there's four. Eight. Uh, Sixteen nether quartz. Okay, how am I going to do this? I guess I'll just have to go to the nether. Just gonna have to go to the nether. Okay, I'm in the nether. I've got my full set of iron armor on. Actually got a sword this time. Uh that's annoying, I can't actually get the um <laughs> I'm gonna need tanks to get lava in. Um oh, there's plenty down here. What am I talking about? Right, so we have this here. Cool. We have the turtle we're gonna use. Any pigmen around? I'm gonna kill this one off quick. <laughs> because I just remembered this pig iron actually makes steel. Which is quite useful. Okay, then we're gonna refuel the turtle. Actually, I'm gonna take the turtle with me. I'm gonna get higher. I'm actually gonna try and excavate or something. Because the tunneling's a bit bad. Let's see, can I get any higher? Well, am I level 53? Well, I can go up there. Let's try and avoid the pigmen the best I can. Um. I'm just going to tunnel in. That's probably the best idea. Let's see how high I can actually get. What is this? Another coal? Okay, any coal. That's great. Okay, I think I've reached the top. Yep, definitely. And this is a height of 125, I guess 126. Uh, let's fuel this turtle up. Uh, how far are we going to excavate? Excavate. Uh, we'll just do 10. Oh shit, I was meant to put a chest down. It's alright, as long as I'm following them around, it's okay. Uh, my pick's like dead, so I don't really want to mine anywhere. Uh, so we'll just wait for him to clear out a few layers. Right, okay, so um, I actually went and got the quarry, changed my mind again. The turtle just takes far too long. Uh, that's not going to work because it's actually too high. It's not going to be able to build this frame, but it might work, I don't know. Uh, the same again. So one more. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm just gonna dig around this. Um this energy cell's quite low. And I brought this crap energy cell as well, but you know. It might do something. It's gonna give it a little bit of power. Uh oh, also gotta get a chest down. So I got a diamond chest. I got some new picks as well, so. Okay, this quarry's going crazy. Hopefully, it won't like go through lava and I'll just fall in. Um, I should probably just dig some stairs while I'm here. Just in case. Okay. Oh shit. The 
quarry can set off the explosions. What is that, netherrack? Nether quartz, brilliant. I can hear some gas down there as well. Uh, so this is about to open up. So I wanted to jump on here so I could actually be ready when it opens. So I get less fall damage. That's exactly what I wanted. Where are the ghasts? Okay, I'll build the stairs quickly. Okay, so the quarry finished. Um, I dug up loads, so I got a whole stack there. Well, over a stack. Let's see what the quarry got. Uh, that's not too bad. I um, don't think I'll be able to carry it all back with me. I definitely want to take this back. And my energy cells. I guess anything I can fit. Um, netherrack, netherrack, netherrack. I don't want the netherrack, I want the good stuff. Another at colds, nice. Um, iron, gold. But there's some redstone. Never mind. I'll grab the rest of this later. Now back to base. Okay, I'm back. Back in the workshop with. I got loads of nether quartz now. Um, I've got no inventory space though. So. Right, what was I making? The centrifuge. So I need two motors to start with. So that's eight steel, eight comparators. Okay, so uh, I needed sixteen, I think. Sixteen comparators. Um, I think it's like forty-eight or something. Yeah, I need I need a bit more. Um, is this off? I can put the the resin ore in there. Okay, I should have got some wood around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Right. Um. Oh, I had to stick some in my inventory. Just being derpy. Uh, put that in there for now since I got no room. Let's put another one in actually. Right. Um. Yeah, I can't pick that up. Not without getting hit by radiation. Okay, that makes one more because I've run out of stone. Alright, alright, my inventory's too full. Let me see what I can empty here. Get rid of all this nether rack. Right, that's better. Now I need stone. Why have I got no stone? Okay, so I grabbed some stone. I also got some cobble to smelt. Couldn't actually find that much stone. But, um, yeah, it's not quite enough. We also need steel. Uh, another copper ore. Nether coal ore. Nether coal ore is a good way to get steel. Um, to get a lot of coal. So, yeah, it produces an insane amount of coal. Let's look at that. Another redstone ore was 24 that time. That's crazy. Yeah. 24 redstone each time. Uh, there was also the nether rack pig ore or something. I've got. Oh, there it is. Nether pig ore. Which um, went straight into steel. So that's always useful. So what's that going to? One block goes into what? Four coal. That's great. Yeah, I don't still that yellow cake now. What am I gonna do with that? It's a bit stuck there, really. Okay, get the the pig iron ore in there. Um, oh, 
The stone must be done by now. Let's have a look. 16, that'll be enough. Okay, that is our 16 comparators. Um, steel and iron. This is 4 steel, I've got enough. And that's one iron ingot. Where are my iron ingots gone? Hmm. Oh yeah, I forget there's that on the top. That's really cool. Right. I only need two. I nearly made a load then. I only need two. Right. Two. Oh, the advanced circuit is the problem. So I need two basic circuits. Which is a copper plate and um, redstone. Okay. Don't need any more copper. Uh, comparators. And redstone. Wait, no, that was right. What's going on here? Comparator, redstone, copper plate. Oh, was it not copper? It's a bronze plate, right. Uh. How did we make... I, no, I made too many last time, didn't I? Yes, that's right. So there's two basic circuits, which now go into one elite circuit, was it? Uh, I don't know what it was. Something like that. Advanced circuit. I think elite circuit's the next stage up. Okay, so we got, we got the circuit. Now we need two steel plates and four bronze. Did I have any bronze left over? I'm sure I did. Copper. Um. Copper. Bronze. Okay. So it was bronze in the corners. Uh, motors. And two steel plates. Oh, we didn't take the steel with me. Right. Cool. And there we have it. The centrifuge. Right, so we'll chuck these down now. Also, these these um, energy cells can go here as well. So you should all get get something. Yep. Okay, so I can connect this directly next to this one, the centrifuge next to the boiler. I think if I do it this way, so it's got this nice front panel, but then the back bit actually spins, so I really like the back panel. So put it that way, the back panel's here. Or the front panel, I'm not sure which way around it's meant to be. But, yeah, it's full of uranium, exploroid. It's emptied this one. And I forgot to actually um, take that piece out. And that's an empty conduit, so I, I don't want the empty ones, I want the full ones. And now I kind of dig, get out of here. It's a bit derp. And if I Try and get that. Oh, I got it. Cool. Right. Okay. I think this takes about six minutes or ten minutes or something. Well, it's doing it pretty fast, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. I read it takes that long. Um. So we shall just wait and see. Okay. So while we wait for these um, the uranium to be processed, we need to make empty cells. Uh, which is just tin with glass in the middle. So I, I'm sure I picked up glass right there. Okay. Um, oh cool, 16 in one go. Easy. Alright, I got my um, hazmat suit back on so I could pick up the uranium from that, that um, pulverizer. Uh, one should be done by now. Okay, so so the centrifuge has two outputs uh, for different types of uranium. One's enriched and one's breeder. So the breeder re-enriches Enrich uranium after it has depleted. So you actually need three uranium. You need three enriched uranium to make a fuel rod for the nuclear reactor. Okay, so there's a third. Um, let's make this into a fuel rod. I think it's three down there, and then three either side. Yeah, and then you have fissile fuel rod. Cool. Was that me picking it up or a creeper? 
Must have been a creeper. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this episode. I'll see you next time.